Town Hall 10 Cold-Blooded Hobo. Guys, what's up? It's Claire Dragoon here, and what I mean by cold-blooded guys is one golem tanking your kill squad on your entry. Basically, the only reason you could use this style of attack, guys, is if you can make your funnel into the base with only one golem, which means, you know, it's light defenses near that area, so you can funnel. And guys, if you don't funnel, you can't pummel. So let's get started right here with Sajesh from the Serbian boys. And let's take a look right here. See see how those wizards are on the outside flanks taking down those buildings. They, they're not really under duress too bad. Just just basically a, uh, a uh, mortar was firing on them. And as you can see here at the bottom, same thing. So now Suggest is uh, putting his golem in play. And that's all he needed to tank basically was once they got up close. So I really like um, when people kind of think outside the box and this particular entry is one of those cases. So Suggest has done a great job here. He's minimized his tanking uh, and maximized his amount of hogs and that's why you use this attack. Not only that, you notice a couple of giants in his troop comp. Suggest is going to probably use those giants in the old school method of tanking his hogs on the way into base. And guys, that still works today. That strategy was used a long time ago in this game, and it is still working right now. All right, you see everything going pretty good right now. Looking good as hogs are coming in. And it's all about the heels here, guys, as these hogs are moving together. Uh, there's the first heel right here. He's got two more heels, guys, and as you can see, this base is already defeated. The kill squad has basically destroyed this base. And Suggest just needs to play this last heal pretty good. Um, he did catch a bomb on that one, though. He, he, uh, he's going to have to play this one smart, though. This last heal, and there you go. That's going to get him through. That's all he needed right here. Now, the skeletons are beating on his hogs pretty rough, but it's okay. He's going to be able to take care of the rest of his base. A few cannons, a mortar. It's not going to work. They're going to go down, and it's going to be a three-star. So let's speed it up right here, guys, because this base is a wrap. Great job, Suggest. Excellent attack. All right, let's move on here to the next attack. And that was going to be an Old Rivals, and it's going to be by Richie. Now let's take a look at his troop comp. And what do you notice right off the bat, guys? I see a Skelly spell in the comp. Other than that, it looks very similar to uh, Suggest, but this Skelly spell is going to come into play later on in the attack. A lot of times people use Skellies for different reasons. I typically like to use one for distraction. Um, towards the end of an attack, uh, especially if I'm doing a stoned hobo, uh, you know, it just gives the expo, the last expo typically, to something to shoot at while your kill squad finally makes it to it. But right here, yet another base, guys. That the funnel was made with outside wizards with no protection and that is how you're gonna have to run this attack I know a lot of you guys asked me in my videos Dragoon what type of base what type of base well guys basically when you watch these videos if you pay attention to them closely they'll tell you in the video what type of base to use it on and right here this is beautiful Richie has tightened up the base to one side and he's bringing his hogs in that area of the base because they're all going to tighten up and going to absolutely destroy everything for a little bit on that side of the base. Now as they go along they're going to kind of spread out a little bit. And you'll see what I mean here in a second as they turn this corner. Now Richie did bring those hogs in at the top. They're going to converge and right now this is a work of art of an attack. Look at it guys. It's absolutely beautiful. The wizard tower killed the queen I think if Richie would have dropped that Skelly spell right then, it might would have distracted. But I think he feels like he needs it for that last wizard tower. And let's see, because his hogs are kind of thinning out here. Yep, there he goes. He's got he's got uh, Skelly down, and he was able to take it down. Nice hit, Richie. You knew what you were doing, bud. Excellent attack. Okay, and let's move on to the next cold-blooded hobo. I am still in old rivals here, and guys, we're going to look at an old friend of mine, Clash NATO. 
He is rolling this attack. Clash Nato has been around the Clash scene for a long time, guys. He's pretty much forgot more strategies than I know. So let's get into his attack right now. Oh, guys, by the way, Clash Nato also has a YouTube channel. Uh, he does a lot of work for this clan that I'm looking at now, Old Rivals. But I think it's mostly in German, so if you can understand German, you'll definitely like to tune in to Clash Nato. So right here, look at his, his funnel was perfect. Everything's going in. Even the pesky bowlers that like to blow funnels. Really nice entry here. Everything's moving quite nicely here. He's getting a lot of value from the kill squad. He's definitely trying to knock down that Inferno so that the hogs don't have to get inside that moat. But if you notice by those wizard towers, guys, there's some big holes behind those wizard towers. So I'm beginning to fear that there's definitely something there. That golem is about to get shredded. The hogs are coming in at the top. And he's going to get a really nice split here from these hogs. And they might not even cross paths here, but let's take a look. Yeah, they're going to get in there. Yep, it's going to happen. And the way the, best, the base set up, you know, it was a nice trap, but it was kind of obvious. But look at this, guys. The hogs are moving through. He's out of, he's out of spells after this last one, though. Uh, that's going to do it for him. But, guys, honestly, I think this one is... Oh, a bomb right at the end. Whoa. Uh, that that kind of made things a little ticklish. But NATO still had it. Good job, NATO. Excellent attack. All right, guys. we uh, have got a couple of more hog attacks here. We're going to take a look at this one from the OSF. And I really wanted to show you this one, guys, because this base is kind of neato looking. I mean, I, I know it... That shouldn't really matter, and it's got Town Hall 9 defenses on the wizard towers and stuff like that. But guys, I couldn't resist. Look at this base design. And I, and I just wanted to let you see uh, God here, uh, the way that he hit it. It was very interesting. Now, God added a couple of giants here uh, just to give a little additional tanking to the bowlers as they're moving through the base. Kind of really, he's getting some really good value here, guys. To be honest, it, it's it's definitely looking really nice right now. And remember, like I said, it is a little underpowered, but I just couldn't help it, guys. This this is uh, very unusual, the space design, to say the least. Yes, the queen is going to help out there. Keep the hogs over to that one side. That was great. And the hogs are moving through. There, here comes a few traps here, but uh, it's going to be a bomb there. Yep, yep, two bomb, double set. Whoa! And then there was a uh, bomb tower there, so he went ahead and dropped that next spell. Um, and you know, with the with the town hall nine wizard towers, the hogs are going to be fine. Uh, there's a lot of lower defenses here, and these, these max hogs are just going to wreak havoc on them. Great job, God. Excellent attack. And we'll move on here. We'll speed it up and get through the space. I just had to put it on here, guys. I know it was lower level, but I thought it was kind of cute. What can I say? All right, guys. And for our last cold-blooded hobo, we're going to take a look right here at my man, The thought, the thought. <laughs> yeah, I probably messed that one up, guys. Probably. But right here, as you can see, for him to make this funnel, guys, he's used a baby drag on one side, and then as that golem walks and everything targets it, he's going to bring the wizards in and cut the other side. And that, these are little tricks you have to learn um, about that. You know, using that golem to tank. Uh, so that he can make that other side. He's going to throw those hogs in. Whoa, battery power is low. Let's keep going, though. Uh, there's a rage coming in here. He's going to get through uh, a lot of DPS here going in. His poison's down. He's got another poison, so on this one, you know, he doesn't have a back-end skelly. 
So he's definitely banking on the fact that there's going to be some skelly traps on his hogs. There's my charger plugging in, as you see. Uh, and he's banking on that, and, you know, that way uh, he'll use the poison to get those uh, skellies off of his hogs. It's making really, really nice uh, work with the base. Oh, nice heal right there. Even before the bomb tower went off, he had that heal down. And this is beautiful, guys. He's got one more heal. He's through the Inferno. That was really the biggest worry in this attack. And he went ahead and dropped that one. He, he felt that bomb right there in that empty void. And it was the right call, man. Wish I could say your name, dude. But you've done a great job. Excellent attack. Through thought. Through thought. Yeah. Excellent attack, bud. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching these hogs get busy on these Town Hall 10 bases. And guys, I'm going to keep this Town Hall 10 content coming because I've got a ton of it. Also, guys, don't forget about the Spring Trap Show with me and Echo Through Me Saturday or Sunday nights. Just depends on our guest. We're very flexible for our guests, guys. So we, you know, we just work with them. Echo streams both night both nights though, and it is hosted on Echo's channel. And guys, if you're interested in joining mine and Echo's and Clash and Duke's family and Late Sleeper, guys, that's the Circle of Clans. There will be a link in the description to our Discord for the recruitment link or for just the regular Discord. All are welcome in our Discord. So with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in, and I am out of here.